Hello everyone, this is Trestle 242 and it's time for another episode of the Decade Challenge. And there we have baby William and I think it's time for him to age up today. Oh no, he needs his diaper changed. Can you do that, Johnny? And then you need to go to the bathroom because you really need to pee. Oh wow, and the whole garden is full of weeds. Yeah, you're going to pee, very good. Then he just finished painting a masterpiece. Wonderful. He's painted 4 out of 5 masterpieces. This is a lovely painting. Let's frame it. And put it somewhere. I don't know if we have a lot of... John is expected at work for the next shift after his family leave. He cannot take more family leave at this time. Well, alright. William aged up. He's a toddler. Toddlers, they spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start the skill building for the future. And I'm going to randomize his trait. He's a charmer. These toddlers love to socialize. They earn communication skill faster and don't suffer stranger danger from strangers. They can share the love with other sims. Wonderful, our precious little baby William. He's looking pretty cute. But I think we need to modify him and create the sim a little bit. Just to give him some outfits. Hello William. I think the hair is super cute. Oh, this is adorable. Yes, I do think that the toddlers are super cute most of the time. Let's have him wear this little suit. And he can definitely wear those little shoes. And a pair of nice long warm socks. His hair is also cute when it's really long. In fact, let's have him propagate an old belief. No, that's not the one that I would want. This. In case you're wondering why I'm having a boy wearing a dress, or well, maybe this dress. It looks a little modern, but if you have it like this, it's fine, I think. Maybe something simpler like this in white. Again, if you're wondering about the dress, that's simply because the well, generally, the Irish people believe that if you. Uh, it's a weird little dot out there. Anyway, the Irish people believe that um, the fairies were drafting for their army and they were taking little toddler boys and girls. Well, generally, boys. So, if you dressed up your toddler boy as a girl, the fairies would think he was a girl and leave him alone. Can you wear a little hat? That would be cute. No, there are no toddler hats. What about sleepwear? Well, he shouldn't be wearing glasses when he goes to sleep. That's just wrong. He can wear this, it's fine. And then for party gear, he's wearing this cute little... Sailor top 
The part of blue trousers, I think. And not those monster shoes. And then the socks as well. Probably think he's going to wear one of these full body suits like this. And when it's hot out, you can still wear this outfit. What's the difference between these two? Can't really tell, oh well. I think this one is cuter. And you can wear these little shoes, yes. And why not these pink little socks? Probably these grey spotted ones. Now what will you wear when it's cold? You can wear this cute little outfit. Or you can just wear this outfit. Except with longer socks. To keep him nice and warm. And little gloves. He's looking really cute. I think he's going to get a quite big chin, but it's always hard to tell. Little William. Now here we have him in his little suit. He's so cute. Now here's what we need. We need to exchange this bed for a toddler bed. A nice classic toddler bed. Now this bait one looks so boring. This one looks a bit better. Then we can use this CC custom content, which is a little chamber pot. To teach him how to, well, how to use a chamber pot. Then we could do with a bookshelf. Oh dear, it's quite big. We might have to remove these candles. There we go. And then give him some toys. Maybe a little rubber duck. And we need to put up a land. Well, not a lantern, I uh... Candelabrum. There we go, now the place is a bit brighter. And there we go, we've officially entered the 1900s. Uh. 
They're the ones who used to get stung by bees. He's feeling very sad. He's very hungry. But I don't think his movement scale is high enough that he can go down the stairs yet. So I'm going to have to have... Oh, and the fridge is broken. Excellent. Why can't you cook? It's dead easy to cook. Come on. Did you trap yourself? She's super hungry. And she needs to feed him. She can give him a plantain. Do you want the plantain? There you go. He has just acquired the thinking skill. It was okay. He's very hungry. He needs food. He's going to throw a tantrum. Why don't you play? You can play stack. And someone is calling. Yoko Lishien is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Let's not. Yes, she's going to eat some cheese crackers and then more choices. Well, we need Daniel to stop playing the violin and actually repair the fridge. Oh, well, apparently I need to use the bathroom. Oh, she can't grab food for William because we haven't got a high chair. I see. Well, let's get a high chair. One of these, the classic looking ones. She needs to give him some food, he can have some peas. There we go, and now you just need to put William in the chair. Go on then. And Yoni says isn't feeling so good, he's very hungry. Come on, it's time for you to have some food. Someone is calling Nathaniel. Nathaniel, it's me, your king, do you want to go out on a date? Sure, actually. And here they are at the island bluffs. This looks gorgeous. You can give him a heartfelt compliment. Flatter him. Kiss hands. He's reached charisma level 4, that's good. You can hug him lovingly. Give some repair tips. Offer a rose. 
Share some melancholy thoughts, perhaps. Talk about the cool temperature. This is a beautiful place, don't you think? Oh, when he starts crying because of the melancholy thoughts, oh no. He get vent a bit about his troubles, and complain about his problems. He lets us some romantic things as well. Blow a kiss. Professor Undying Love, unfortunately I can't propose yet, because well... It's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. What's he running off to do? Is he going off to take a swim? Yes. And he's asleep. Work for Johnny says starts in about one hour. Well, alright then. John is off to work, and apparently the romance festival is in town. It's having to do a swan dive into the pool. Oh, he's going to have another nap. All right then. Let's have Johnny says to work hard. Now William is sad, and the date is almost over. I had such a great time with you. Let's do it again soon. Well, let's have him go home. Yeah, and Joachim wants him to go to the festival as well, but let's not. Alright, he's back. And poor little William is so sad, he hasn't got enough attention. He's acquired the communication skill. Oh, and now he's running around. No, oh, he's so sad. Nobody's paying attention to him. Oh, go in again. Sorry about that, and then you can make funny faces to Thaniel. <laughs> and Rosetta is pregnant with another baby. Now he's angry. Why are you angry? He's tired. He needs to be put to bed. Go on then, take little William to bed. Why don't you? No, not the high chair. Take him to bed. He can babble to himself. And he can eat some peas. Okay, at least the Zest came home. He's feeling insanely bored. But maybe he can 
put him to bed. You can read him to sleep. It sounds wonderful. Go on then. Yes, finally, at least that worked. There we go. Now you're ready to go to bed, little William. No, don't go running down the stairs. Go to bed. Night, night. And someone is calling Daniel. It has been super crazy the past few days. I was heading down to the park to relax. Do you want to tag along? Nah. Come on. You need to go to bed. Go to sleep. Where are you? Oh, he's been painstakingly making his way up the stairs. Yes, go to sleep now. Yes, very good. What a good little boy. What a good little lad. Now Rosetta's gone out to research the garden, but what she really needs to do is she needs to tend the garden. And some of these trees can be evolved. Oh, well, at least one of them. He's feeling too uncomfortable to do much else, I think. And she needs to use the bathroom. And then take a shower. Crying because she's so hungry, I think. Go on, then have some eggs and toast. Let's just throw this way. It's almost done. And everyone else is asleep. Now it's summer. Okay, so Daniel is awake. That's good. Oh, ew, the toilet is nasty. It's horrible. Come on, then, why can't you use the toilet? Do you have to clean it first or something?
Come on then. Hello? Yes, finally you see it. Oh, she wants to tuck in William. We really need Nathaniel to repair the fridge. He's feeling flirty. He's hungry though, we can have a quick meal. We can have some uh, cheese crackers, why not? Now Rosetta is awake at least. Just having a bit of a chat with Daniel. She's feeling a bit sick though. He can oh he can ask to feel the baby. It's apparently time for the flea market. Now come on then, ask. Can I feel the baby? Yes, it's a baby. Now then, we would like Daniel to paint something. How about a medium classic painting? Oh. And our baby is still asleep. Someone is calling Daniel. Oh, it's just uh, your king. Uh -huh. Come on, you need to go to the bathroom. Congratulations, Daniel is finished painting a masterpiece. That means he's almost done with his aspiration. You know, this is feeling tense. You can play some chess, I guess. <laughs> Rosetta is feeling quite tired. I think she could have with taking a shower. Oh no! Our baby is sad. She needs a potty training though. I didn't expect Daniel to be a parent like this. He's helping him. Yep, it's time for you to go pot training on the little chamber pot. Someone is calling Rosetta. Oh, Julius or Alama would like to come out and hang out. Sure, I guess. I'm Carl. I was feeling angry. Why? Oh, he's hungry. Oh, 
Now come on, you can do it. Just go potty. You can do it. You did it! Wonderful! He's really hungry. Go on then. You need to feed him. Oh, she just collapsed. Can you eat something? You can, you can open the fridge. Well, go on then. Give food to William. Give him some ham and cheese sandwich. That sounds good. Go on, go up and get William. He's about to, like, die from starvation. <coughs> and she's just going to sleep. Now he's sad. Because he had a bit of an accident on using the uh, chamber pot. At least he's having some food. He can babble to himself. Oh, he's feeling pretty good. And she's peeing herself in the garden. This is a big old mess. Now we can have Yonu Sest be a very involved father that's unusual for the time. And he can try and potty train him. Because it's very good if they have the potty training skill. Now Tanel is feeling, well he's just not feeling good in like any way really. He's having a bit of a nap though I think. Someone is calling Tanya. Oh, apparently there's a party at the nightclub. Let's not go. Oh, you're so close to learning the potty skill. You can have Rosetta teach William some stuff too. She's already very dirty, but hey, at least she's being a good mother. He's feeling pretty good. Oh, and they're both helping him now. Uh, 
Well, Rosetta, I think it's best if you go to sleep. Oh, she just fell asleep on the floor. He's tired. He shouldn't make a mess though, that's being very naughty. He's got the imagination skill now though. He should go to sleep, he can read William to sleep. Oh, apparently he can't. Oh, and apparently he will put himself to bed. That's fine too, I guess. No, you need a shower or something, mister. Mr. Zest. And Taniel is just really hungry. He can clean the chamber pots, I guess. Shouldn't teach him blocks. Because he's asleep. He should instead have some food. Well, now I need Rosetta to take a shower. At least her hygiene is up to green now, and then she needs to actually go to sleep. Sleep. Yes. And now he's, uh, go to sleep. I thought I was going to have some food. At least the zest is feeling good. Well, decently good. And he needs to sleep as well. Now oh, most people are asleep. Let's just have Daniel sleep as well. And then I will end this episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this little episode of the Decade Challenge. Oh no, she peed on the floor. And she needs something to eat. She can have a sandwich. And well, yeah, I will end this episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye.